The USDA estimates that supermarkets lose $15 billion each year in unsold fruits and vegetables alone. That's food that will so rots before it can be sold. Often it just goes in the landfill. But a company in Washington state has developed new technology to change that. Walk into just about any supermarket and you'll see a beautiful bounty of fresh food. But behind the eye-catching displays is a far less appetizing truth. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, every year more than 21 million tons of food sold in retail stores never makes it to consumers. One in seven truckloads of perishables delivered to grocery stores will be thrown out. Most of the losses happen in the produce aisle. We have over 350 fruits and vegetables. There's a lot of food that will go past sell date or be unsellable for one reason or another. To meet consumer demands, grocers tend to stock only the most attractive produce. Anything less than perfect gets pitched. Most grocery stores have no choice but to put their food scraps in with the trash. But at PCC Natural Market in Issaquah, Washington, food scraps don't go in the trash. And they don't get composted either. They're put in a machine called a harvester. Our food scraps go immediately into the harvester where they're processed. There is no odor. Inside, everything is blended into a liquid and stored in a sealed tank. The harvester is the brainchild of a team of former Microsoft executives. They wondered if they could use data to attack the problem of commercial food waste. Larry Lesseur is the CEO. As we looked at this food waste issue and we started asking the questions of why it was occurring, no one had the answers. There was no data. There was no metrics on it. So we looked at this and said, if we could capture the metrics, if we could understand the data behind it, we could alter behavior. Every pile of food that goes into a harvester is weighed and coded by what department it came from. That real-time data is sent to grocers so that they can see exactly where they're losing food. But how do they get rid of that silo of blended food scraps? We put all this energy and effort into growing this food source, and then we're trying to figure out how do we make it all go away conveniently. We're not benefiting from all this hard effort that we got from our society in growing the food in the first place. If you view the food scraps as a waste, you've missed the point. Food scraps are a resource. Victor Tyrone is Weiser's chief science officer. And the aroma. He wondered if that slurry of food waste could be turned into an organic fertilizer. The potential is massive. You're talking about the need for millions of gallons of organic fertilizer. We might expect a harvester to produce maybe 10,000 gallons of fertilizer over a period of time, but the need is for millions of gallons of fertilizer. They started analyzing the liquid in the lab and figured out that they could indeed turn what was once meant to be food for people into food for plants. But would this organic fertilizer be effective in large-scale crop production? Ted Andrews is one of the owners of HerbCo. It's an organic culinary herb farm that started in Duval, Washington, and now has farms in eight states. We put fresh herbs in little packages and sell them to grocery stores. Organic farming can be more challenging, but Andrews says it's worth it. As a steward of the land, I prefer to have organic inputs rather than conventional inputs that could run off into the Snoqualmie River, which is right over there. When a Weiserg representative told Andrews about a fertilizer made from food scraps, it sounded too good to be true. I have a lot of people trying to sell me products of all kinds and always have a healthy skepticism, but uh, I dared him to prove it to me. They set aside a field of basil as a test plot and started using Weiserg fertilizer in their drip irrigation system. A few months later, the difference was measurable. The Weiserg basil had 30% more biomass. The leaves were bigger and the color was deeper than basil in other fields. It turns out it actually is quite a bit more effective than what we're used to. Andrew says he hopes to use the Weiserg fertilizer on more of his fields next year. Then he'll have even more herbs to package up and send to supermarkets.
And farmers aren't the only ones who can buy this food waste fertilizer. It's also being sold on supermarket shelves, including the PCC where the food scraps came from in the first place. Not only are we making a difference with the food waste and preventing it from happening, we're doing it in a sustainable way, and we're doing it in an environmentally friendly way that makes economic sense for the business. For the Weiserg team, this idea of closing the food waste circle could be a model for supermarkets across the country.